welcome. This is Melissa Arnold, the Stock Swoosh, and reviewing Facebook. This was another play of the day today in the Stock Swoosh Show live trading room. We shorted this as a day trade, and I also did put in this too. This was a nice, nice move to the downside. Took a little bit of patience, went broke, uh, pretty much went to the dream target. Uh, it'll be interesting to see where we go the rest of the week, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Only three more days left in this week, and so far it's been a very, very profitable week um, to start out. So let me go back here. Now, what I do is, for those of you that don't know, I get up in the morning and I look for the best gap to do. I first go to the short side. If I don't find any good short gaps, then I go to the long side. Today there was a lot of shorts. Then I rate it. <coughs> Excuse me. I rate the gap. And I rate the gap using my 26-point rating system. If the gap rates 20 points or more, then I will take the trade in the direction of the gap. So in the case of Facebook, what did it do? It gapped down. It closed here the night before at 3.38 and opened in the morning here at 3.35.08. It was a nice move down. I'm talking about just here. Then we shorted it. Then we got the drop. Then we did an ad. Look at this. And fell. I wouldn't say this was a late move, but it sort of was late for us because we're usually in and out of trades by 10 o'clock. I'm not going to kill something, though, at 10 o'clock if it doesn't move. I liked it. I mean, if you look at the extension on this, 335 was the open, low was 323. So that's more than a $10 move. That's a big bar, even for Facebook. I mean, look at this bar over here. That's about 10 something. So we captured pretty much the majority of this move today. It was a very, very nice short. Again, I do not know where we go until I get up in the morning and see the gap tomorrow. You know, but every day I try to look for something new to do. I think it makes it exciting. And again, what I'm, my whole strategy, everything I do with the gap trading that I do is based on momentum. We momentum trade. So the momentum in Facebook today was where? It was to the downside. Okay. So I get up in the morning, I look at the gap. Here we go. Closed here, 338. Open here at the morning, 335. So we're pretty aggressive. Again, I prefer to get out quick, but it, you know, I'm not going to kill something if I like it. Here's where it broke. You can really see it better here in the 15 minute. Look at this bar. Woo, fell off a cliff right there. 10.45, look at that, huge. People were buying this today. It was green at one point. Same, same thing happened today actually with the market initially, initially, and then the market fell too. So you have to know what you're doing, I think any day that you trade or anytime you risk money in the market, but particularly right now in these times, I expect the month of December to be volatile. If you don't know what you're doing, you really shouldn't be putting your own money at risk. You are, you're in danger of losing money every time you trade, so you need to know what to do. That's one of the reasons why I, I have as a policy that everybody in the live trading room that does a day trade, like I called Facebook today, has to have done the Golden Gap course before entering the room. Then you know what to do that helps you prep yourself to, to take the trades, and then you and you know what the same thing I'm looking at. Again, focus on the strategy. For me, it's about gaps. It's the golden gap system. This was a beautiful golden gap. Again, it was a short, and we will see where Facebook is tomorrow. Anybody interested in the golden gap course? Last class of the year is December 18th and 19th. Email me, Melissa, at thestockswish.com to sign up. Have a great night.